What's the definition of philanthropy? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know the exact definition. Okay. You tell me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. An artist? My definition of philanthropy, I can't even say the words. Isn't that something to do with stamps? Study of insects, isn't it? I've never even heard of it. I have to pick it, I gotta pick an answer. <laughs> <laughs> What's your definition of philanthropy? Well, Philly means brotherly. Out of the Greek. Well, that's where you're, you're a rich guy and you give away a lot of money. Any good works that you do that help the community or society? Philanthropy is having a generous heart. I'm actually a bankruptcy lawyer. I've never seen anybody going to bankruptcy because they gave away too much money. When I hear the word philanthropy, I think about giving money away. You give money away to make things happen. All of my life, I've wanted to make a difference. That's my, my purpose in life. Like, why else would I be on Earth if I wasn't here to make a difference? There's a sense of fulfillment there, that you've done a good thing. And, and that's a, worth a heck of a lot more than the money that you gave to give it. And as an immigrant, I've taken a great deal from the people in this country. And uh, I think, uh, like everyone, it's about the time to give it back. I was always going to be the aggressive go get them businesswoman, climbing to the top, knock them dead, going to be the most successful businesswoman that ever walked on this, on this earth. So no, I never thought I would be a philanthropist. We have this perception that we work so hard to get it and that it's so precious that, that we have to hold on to it. And that if we let a little bit go, uh, it's gone. But that's not true. And then what happened? My, um, my youngest sister got breast cancer. And at age 42, she died from breast cancer and left her young children. You see these kids that, uh, you know, by the grace of God, there go your kids, and and you can you can really feel empathy for these families when you have a family of your own. What is it that I want to do to make a difference with my time, with my energy, with my resources? You don't have to only give money. You can give time. You can give skills. And you, for instance, there are a group out there who need something, but they can't make it happen. You can give that set of skills. What can you do, Barbara? How can you make a difference in your community and in what is really important to you, which is helping women who have breast cancer? But oftentimes you think, well, there are so many people that are homeless or hungry or hurting. You know, what, what can I do? Those problems are going to always be there. But if every person help to one or two others, you'd be, you'd be helping millions of lives. And how many lives do you have to positively affect to make it worthwhile? Only one. It's made me a firm believer in that the more you give, the more you get. I think that's been demonstrated uh, to me over and over again. You know, people don't know the joy. They do not know the joy. I, I am such a different person than I was five years ago. Such a different person. You sit down as a family actually and talk about what our giving priorities will be. Tim and I have our own and then the children have some interest as well. Sometimes we don't think about educating the generations beyond us to give money away and to do it dutifully and happily and want to do it. And that the more money you give away, the more you have. I have a number of friends who have discovered that. I don't know what you want to say, voodoo, faith, spirituality, God, whatever, but um, the more you give away, the more you have. If somebody else needs it, then I can give some of my just good fortune to them. It feels tingly inside. I give money um, at church, like at least a dollar, and it makes me feel good because I'm giving to people who don't have money. What does it feel like to help people, Iris? Um, happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we ought to not think of ourselves as big philanthropists and small philanthropists. I think we all ought to just, everybody who gives away even $10 a year should be able to say, I'm a philanthropist too, just like Carnegie was. 
giving money away? To help people who don't have opportunities, I guess is the way I put it. Giving and receiving together at the same time. Uh, I don't know. For philanthropy? Uh, well, I got, you got me stumped there. Philanthropy? It'd be nice if I could even pronounce philanthropy. And what's the right answer? 